Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast, and tonight is NHL opening night, <clears throat> so I thought, what better way to celebrate than going back and opening up a box of 1990-1991 Upper Deck Hockey. This was the premier edition of uh, the NHL in Upper Deck. Uh, it was a great set, lots of great rookies in here. Uh, they had some, uh, I don't know if you can see this here, some superstar 3D holograms uh, randomly inserted. From what I remember, they were the worst ones ever. I mean, you could not tell which uh, hockey player it was. And I'm trying to remember uh, who all they had on the holograms. I'm pretty sure it was uh, Iserman, uh, Brett Hall, Mario Lemieux, um... Uh, Wayne Gretzky, and I, for some reason, I don't think it was very many players that they had like that, but they were awful. I mean, just awful. <clears throat> so, but uh, lots of good rookies in here, and you can see they made sure you knew Wayne Gretzky, the great one, is in here. So, let's bust this open and get to work on it. I'm very excited about this. I've actually had this box for um, about three weeks and I've just been waiting for opening night. So here we go. The road to the Stanley Cup begins tonight. Look at this fresh box. Well, except for that one pack. That one pack wanted nothing to do with anything in here. <laughs> But, ah, look at that. Brand spanking new. Nice and shiny. Uh, I got some soft sleeves here. I don't really think... Uh, let's see, there's a few good rookies in here that might be worthy of a uh, hard case, which I've got some over here, but I'll soft sleeve them for now and put them in the hard case after the unboxing. 36 packs of goodness. Here we go. All right. I'm very excited about this. Uh, I'm, when they first come out, these were uh, pretty expensive. Uh, I want to say a couple dollars a pack. And then when the, this is the low numbers, when the high numbers come out, uh, back in the day, there was a player named Eric Lindros that did not have a card in the low numbers. And I think uh, with a contract or something, he was not allowed to have a card in Upper Deck. So they worked their way around it by having a um a junior league uh team set with him on it so there you go hey andy dave how's it going all right here we go andy moog i remember him uh mark messier hall of famer one of the all-time greats in hockey back when he was still with the edmonton oilers there you go that's one going in a soft sleeve and upper deck oh. They always put their cards uh, all kinds of out of order. I always hated it. <laughs> uh, some of the guys I'm not going to remember. Uh, Basil McRae, nope. Joel Otto, I kind of remember him a little bit. Uh, Milna, uh, Dave Mc... Oh, gosh. It seems like to me I remember him. I'm not sure. Trevor Linden, I definitely remember him. Uh, don't remember this fella. And these are always cool. Um, the checklist cards... The team checklist, they put a checklist on the back, but they always had an art card of, uh, of their best player on the team. Let's see, who was that for the North Stars? Mike Madonna? Nope. Uh, Brian Bellows. Brian Bellows. There we go. I'm trying to keep them so they're good so everyone can see them. Oh, wait a minute. I'm wrong. Shocking as that may seem. Uh, they did have the Eric Lindros in the low numbers. Oh, I forgot. I could have sworn it was in the high numbers. It was for the, the up-and-coming players. Uh, nope, the top 10 draft picks. But they were not allowed to have one of Lindros. So, that's how they got around it. There it is. Yeah, uh, Andy, Dave, I was the same way. Back in the day, I, there was about a five-year period where I really got into hockey. 
But other than that, I, I kind of faded away. And I will say in the last um, few years, I've kind of gotten back into it. <clears throat> I think with the um, uh, the Washington, uh, what are they, the Capitals, uh, them winning the Stanley Cup, and they've been good for a while. Uh, Pittsburgh back in the day was my team just because uh, Yarmir Yager, uh, Tom Barrasso, Mario Lemieux, and you know just keep going off the great players that played for them for a few years. So I kind of stuck with them until some of those guys started going away. Dale Howardchuck. And they're all out of order. Blah. I hate it when they do that. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Um, is that Ray Bork winning the, uh, the Norris Trophy? Yes, Ray Bork from the Bruins back in the day. Uh, the Vezina Trophy for best goalie, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yep, top goalie, Patrick Waugh. Man, he looks young right there. <laughs> he played for a long, long time. And I believe that's Patrick Waugh right there. Yep. There we go. Nah, not too much good in that pack. But we're looking for the, let's see, Yager rookie. Uh, gosh, who else? I think Scott Niedermeyer had a rookie. Um, gosh. Uh, there's a few more good rookies, but obviously uh, Lemieux and Gretzky are the two big ones. I want to get a, a hologram or two just so you guys can see them and see how absolutely horrible they were. Unless maybe they're just worse in my mind than they really were as time went on. Let's see. Let's get it. Oh, my gosh. All righty. Let's put these kind of in order. Here we go. Let's see here. Uh, who is that for the Sabres? Oh, my gosh. I know who that is, and I cannot think of his name. Ah. Pierre Turgeon. Steve Iserman. I loved watching this guy play back in the day. Him with Sergei Fedorov. Those two made a deadly combination for the Red Wings for, uh, for quite a while. There we go. Put a Stevie Iserman over there. Really glad to get that. There's another one of those Ray Borks. Let's see. There we go. Not too much good now besides that. That Iserman. Let's see. Go ahead and put them kind of in order before I show them all because they get kind of annoying that way. All right. Kind of in order. There we go. Neil Broughton. He had a great career. Uh, Peter Stasny. I remember him for quite a while. Andy Moog again. Uh, Craig Johnny. Janny. Janny. Yeah. Let's see who was on theirs. Um, Gary Lehman. I don't really remember Gary Lehman for the for the Leafs. Joe Newendike. I remember him for a little while. Marty McSorley. He was one of those fighters out there. Yeah, he was definitely one of the tough guys for a long time. He kind of made sure nobody really messed with Wayne Gretzky when. Uh, Gretzky came to the Kings. Thomas Sonderstone. Stone Sonstrom. Gosh. Can't talk tonight. Can't imagine with the uh, the way the rules are now in hockey. Guys like uh, Gretzky, Lemieux, um, some of those guys. I can't imagine how many goals they would score. It's just because... Back in the day, I mean, they played so much more physical. It would be something else. Uh, Therian Fleury, very good career. Let's see. Todd Ellick, Gary Suter. It's in my mind, I'm thinking uh, he might not have. I was thinking he played for the 1980 U.S. Olympic team, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. Now, who is this with the caps? Rod Langway. Nope, don't remember him either. 
Uh, this is way before Ovechkin, if anybody was wondering. Way, way before Ovechkin. Tom Barrasso uh, had a really, really good career uh, for the uh, Penguins. Uh, minding goal while, while Yager and, um, and Lemieux was out there scoring goals left and right. Like they always said, you only go go as far as your uh, your goalie. Let's see. I was trying to get them kind of straight because they're very annoying. And I know I've mentioned that a few times. So one more time. <laughs> Ed Belfour. That might be uh, Ed's rookie card. Ed Belfour. I think that's his rookie. It's another wah. Yep, another wah. Sergey Mahon. Hey, there's a, one of the Gretzky's when he won another one of his many MVPs, the Art Ross Trophy. Let's turn these around. There we go. Sergey Markarov. I think that's Sergey's rookie, Markarov. Had a solid career. It's amazing. I think this is uh, Yager's rookie year, and I think he may have just retired. I know he played uh, the year before last. I'm not sure if he played last year or not. It's crazy to think he played for that many years. Uh, playing hockey is just brutal as it is, and he was out there night in and night out playing. He did take a, a couple years where he played back in, in Russia, I believe, or Sweden or somewhere. I can't remember. Rob Blake, he was another uh, good player out there with uh, Gretzky when he played with the Kings. There's Brett Hall. That's an awesome player there. Man, he had a wicked slap shot. There we go. And uh, the star rookies checklist. Let's see. I can't remember who I was on there, but as we go through, we'll find some of them, I'm sure. Just kind of looking at the back of it for a second here, see who's always on it. Looks like a few good players. Come on. Where's where's that regular Gretzky? Where's that Lemieux? Let's see. All right, sorry about that. Let's keep going through here. All right, uh, Dan Maloney, uh, Bruce Hoffert, uh, the Lady Bing Trophy. Um, gosh, I'm trying to remember what that's for. It's the, is this the most gentlemanly player? Uh, gentlemanly conduct. <laughs> How about that? I got that right. What a lucky guess. Brett Hull. Uh, the Hart Trophy, is that for uh, the best player in the playoffs? Finals MVP? No, just MVP. Pat LaFontaine, he was a very good player. Very good player for a while. For the, um, the Islanders. I was about to say Buffalo Sabres. I knew better than that. There we go. Speaking of the Sabres... <laughs> Yeah, Doug Wilson, eh, nothing good right there. All right, let's see what else we got here. All right, 
Again, kind of put them in order a little bit because I can't stand it. Okay, I'm not going to mention that anymore. I've mentioned it like 10 times. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. And that is... Who is that for the Flames? And my finger's on his name. Uh, uh, Sergei uh, Markarov for the Rookie of the Year. So I'm not sure if that's his rookie card or not I pulled earlier. The Art Ross Trophy is uh, the scoring leader, not the MVP, the scoring leader for Gretzky. Ed Belfour, again, I believe that's his rookie card, and it is one of those star rookies. Let's see. There we go. Ah, not much else in that pack. All right. Let's see here. All right. Here we go. Start off with uh, Kevin Stevens. Solid player for a while. Mike Madonna, very good player. Uh, I believe that's his rookie card, Mike Madonna. I'm pretty sure that is. I don't think he had a Topps card or an OPG before that. Uh, Bowman, I don't know if Bowman was before these or not. Larry Murphy, Andy Moog, uh, Tony Granada. I remember him a little bit. There's another North Stars checklist. Randy Velashek. I don't remember him. And ah, not too much right there at the end of those. Let me check one thing right quick. Okay, sorry about that. Computer's having a little bit of issues tonight. Don't you love it when that happens? All right, next. <clears throat> Shane Carson. Let's see, who is that? The Blackhawks. Oh, Jeremy Roenick. Jeremy Roenick. Very good career. He might be Hall of Fame career. Again, there's another Gretzky, number 54. I don't know why, but okay. Another uh, Mark Messier trophy card. Paul Yazbert. There you go. I'm hoping there's a Ty Domi in here. Uh, he was probably my favorite enforcer back in the day. Patrick Waugh. Let's see. Yeah, she'd been playing for a while at this point. You know what? I, I got to show you guys the back of them too. Mike Vernon. Velichek. Mike Madonna again. Andy Moog. Lowry. Moog. Did I say Moog? Two Moogs in that one pack. Is that what I just said? Or is that Moog? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Two Andy Moogs in one pack. Don't you love it when that happens? Give you guys a little glance at the back. We'll go with uh, the Gretzky card. There's a front, a nice looking front on these. And then the back. Got that classic uh, upper deck back where they only put a few years. Was it five years? Yeah, the, the previous five years, or if they're a rookie or something, with less than five years, that's all the stats they would show. And then a nice action shot down below. 
right in front of a sugar sign. <laughs> oh, sugar. All right, next. And this reminds me so much of opening these back in the day. Um, the Upper Deck Baseball, Upper Deck Football back in the day. Gosh, I, I used to love that back in, in the in the 90s and early 2000s. All right, let's see here. Another Rob Blake. That is a Gretzky checklist card, the, the King's checklist. By the way, you can kind of see the back of it. Just shows all the players on um, for the team that's in the set. I would say, and I don't know because I haven't actually looked it up, but I would say the most expensive cards, probably just a, a few dollars. Uh, maybe the Yager rookie, maybe that, that might be a few dollars. I'm honestly not sure, but I would say they're all pretty cheap. <clears throat> I go to a show or a flea market if they have any singles. Uh, Gretzky might be a couple of dollars, but from oh here we go. Wow. Here is one of the holograms, and actually this one is actually pretty good. Um, some of them you could not see anything on, and this is. That it looks like Mark Messier right there. How about that? And on the back, they don't give you any idea of who it is. Uh, it just says on it, Hockey Superstar. And the year, um, National Hockey League down below. Or does it say Upper Deck? Upper Deck Company, NHL 1990 uh, down below. But that's what they look like. And this one is actually really, really good. Because <clears throat> what I really recall back in the day when I looked at them, it was just like looking at a mirror or something. They were terrible. Not even a good mirror. <laughs> so that's cool. So Mark Messier, we saw you and we could clearly see you. Let's see, the Con Smythe Trophy. Is that the playoffs MVP or the best goalie? Uh, playoff MVP for the Con Smythe. Uh, the James Norris. What was that? Uh, the best defenseman, Ray Bork, back in the day. Dennis Savard. Hey, there's Iserman again. Is that the second Iserman? Is that the first Iserman? There we go. There's Bork on there. Let's see, Olacek. There you go. Actually, I, don't, I think I mispronounced his name. I don't think that's Olacek. All right, let's put these in order. Gosh, where's some of those other rookie cars? Really want to get the. Um, the Yager rookie, Dale Howarchuk. Van Breesbrook, I remember him. Who was that for the Rangers? Uh, Leach. And the Vazina, was that, that was best goalie? Yep, top goalie. I think I've already gotten that and already said that. Yeah, Trevor Linden. I always liked Trevor Linden. I don't think that was his rookie card, though. All right. Come on. Get that. Get that Yager rookie. Give me a, a Mario Lemieux. That's two cards that I'm definitely trying to get out of here and have not seen either one of them yet. All right. Here we go. Peter Zezel. Joe Sorella, and there's another one of those, uh, Bret Hart, Lady Bing, most gentlemanly player. Rod Langway, he was uh, the checklist card for the, the Capitals, 
There's another Messier, the checklist card. Man, I remember back in the day, you had Messier and Gretzky on the same team playing for Edmonton. That team was unstoppable. Until uh, Gretzky left and went to the Kings. The LA Kings. <clears throat> that really kind of changed hockey for a little while. It uh, really brought, put such a spotlight on hockey here in America that uh, it really added to more teams came to America. So there we go. Let's see. Next is Ron Tugnut. Brian Leach was a solid ball, uh, solid ball player, solid hockey player. Has another three. And there we go. Let's see, I think 9091. I think that's the first year uh, Pittsburgh won the Stanley Cup, I, I believe. I could be mistaken on that, which would not shock me at all. All righty. Now, 89.90, uh, Edmonton won. There's Mark Messier holding up the trophy. The Stanley Cup. It's bad luck to touch the Stanley Cup unless you have won it. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Look, you see the, uh, the curve in the stick? If you watch the guys play, they can hit it so hard it actually does make the stick have a little curve to it. It's kind of crazy. <clears throat> Remember, they used to have, I don't know if they still do at All-Star Break, uh, Matt Sundin. That's a good rookie card. Matt Sundin. Uh, they would have the hardest slap shot competition. Paul Coffey, another great one. Another really, really good player for a long time. But uh, there was a couple guys. Uh, what was his name for the uh, the Capitals? Uh, was it Al McInnes? I think was his name. And he won just about every year. And his slap shot was over 100 miles an hour. I mean, he was just killing it. It's like, that's insane. I, I would hate to be a goalie uh, with a hockey puck. <clears throat> now, I've had a... A real hockey puck and it, it's just solid hard rubber now imagine that thing frozen ice cold and coming flying at you at a hundred plus miles an hour insane checklist card Dennis Savard there we go let's see here the flames again Bernie Federico. Federico, not Federico. I, I threw some extra letters in there. Sorry, Bernie. All right, next is. Hey, we have another one. Oh, I was about to say it's upside down. Oh, wait. That's because the whole thing was upside down. Um, Gosh. See, this one's a little harder to see. You might be able to see it actually a little bit better than I can. But I think, I think that's Iserman. It looks like there's actually two people on it. <laughs> I think that's Iserman and somebody behind him. I'm going to say that's Steve Iserman. <laughs> wow, those things are, <laughs> that one's brutal. Yeah, that's. When these things first come out, and here where I'm at in America, uh, kind of central Virginia, yeah, we weren't really versed in a lot of the hockey players. So trying to guess at who some of them were was really a lost cause for us. Joe Newendike. What is the Williams Jennings trophy? Is that best coach? What is that? Uh, it doesn't say. It's got two players on there. Hmm. 
don't know. I could have actually read the thing, and you know that that would have probably solved that mystery for me. There's that bread hole. Look at that extension. I know it's I know it's only an art card, but when he really had that slap shot, he really had that extension like that on. It's insane. Just the power that those guys can can put on a hockey puck. Not only that, with accuracy too. Rod Brendamore. Star Rookie, I believe that's a good one because I remember him for, for quite some time. Uh, speaking of that Eric Lindros card at the beginning, which I spoke about it oh, about 20 minutes ago. Um, <clears throat> when he first come up, he was by far the most popular player coming out of the draft. Uh, maybe they, they were saying since Lemieux or maybe Gretzky, they, they're, they're looking at him as being the next great hockey player and unfortunately concussions uh got him <clears throat> i remember on multiple occasions he just got clipped and his lights were out kind of stinks because uh when he really played he could have been probably one of the best ever but he didn't there you go there's a lemieux uh checklist card now just got to find the the regular lemieux <clears> hey, <throat> David Reed, Tim Kerr, Bob Bears, Bob Bears. I want to say it, sip of water. All right, all right. <clears throat> Should have put my trash can right here beside me, but I didn't. All right. <clears throat> and for those who don't know, yes, this did start as a live stream, but. Uh, I had technical issues, so I started recording this at the beginning just in case if I did have technical issues, and so uh, it's now a video. <laughs> Paul Housley. <clears throat> Who is that for the whale? Ron Francis. He had a very good career. Good old Ron Francis. All right, let's see. I moved one of them around. Uh, Kurt McLean. Is that taking in Isa taking it Asa taking it? You know, and I can't remember if Gretzky was on that championship team. I don't think he was. The uh, eighty nine ninety uh, Oilers. I don't. I don't think he was on that team. I think that was the first year after he got traded. Let's. Let's find that card and find out. No, actually, um, he'd been traded for two years. Looks like they didn't need Gretzky after all. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Another Craig Janney. Let's see, who is that on the... Uh, Thomas Steen. Don't remember him. You know what, we've had some more star rookies through here. And I haven't been pulling them out like I should have been. I know I have. Let's so we'll kind of pull those aside. Let's see. Okay, I thought they were the actual just top like 10 cards in the set, but they're not. Just kind of spread throughout. Oh, here's one of those top rookies. Actually, there's the logo on there. For the Bruins, uh, John Bice. I don't remember him. Let's see. Who is the Frank A. Silk Trophy? That is for uh, top defensive forward. And the player is uh, Rick Mager. I don't remember him either. Ah, my elbow. I just popped my elbow. I hope y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> Which I'm sure you did because the microphone's right beside my elbow. 
Uh, Mike Madonna, that star rookie. There's Al McGinnis. Right here, he played for the Calgary Flames this whole time, but I think he got traded to the uh, Capitals for a while, if I'm not mistaken. But he had that slap shot that, gosh, I think sometimes it would clock, clock it as high as uh, 114 miles an hour. And he would usually win the uh, the fastest slap shot competition by a few miles an hour. It was it was insane. And we have another hologram. This one is uh, that is also you guys can see it, which I don't know if you can or not. There we go. It's another Mark Messier. Man, thing catches the light just right up blind you. All right. Here's a star rookie, uh, Rob M M DeMeo. Rob DeMeo. I do not remember him either. Sorry, Rob. Mike Richter. Very good player for a while. Um, I don't know if that's his rookie or not. I'll pull it aside just in case, but I don't believe it is. Yeah, Pat LaFontaine again. Brian Bellows. All right, let's see. Not too many packs left. Not too many to go. <clears throat> this is fun opening these old cards. Uh, I had so much fun back in the day uh, collecting them. And really my introduction to hockey was... Again, right around this time, and I loved it. Loved watching it during the, this era. The Con Smythe. Mario Lemieux's scoring streak. Man, he was so good in his prime. When he was healthy, man, he was good. I mean, there for a while, everyone thought he was going to break Gretzky's records, but uh, injuries kind of caught up with him. There's another Patrick Waugh. So I think his rookie card was uh, 84. Oh, it's not on the back of that one. I was thinking it's the 84 tops. Uh, I think I might be wrong on that. It might have been a little bit later than that. All right, here we go. Alexander McGilney. He was a very good player for a little while. I think that's a rookie. Alexander McGilney. The Whale. Scott Stevens. Uh, good ball. Uh, Keep saying good ball player. It's a good hockey player. I'm so used to baseball, football. Hey, there we go. Baseball, football, and basketball that I forget. Uh, this is hockey. They don't have a ball. There you go. Let's see. What was his rookie? Well, at least um, 85, 86. Because it go that's as far back as it goes. That's five years before this. So I'm honestly not sure. Uh, maybe 86. Tops might be a rookie. Uh, that's one I would like to get. I'd like to get a Gretzky rookie also. Uh, just because they're two of the true legends of the sport. And if I could go back and get uh, a Howe rookie and you know, Gordy Howe, you know, stuff like that, that would be really cool. Because, again, those, those guys were just absolute legends of the sport. I mean, I just that you know, just uh, Gordy Howe is just a name that came right off my head. There's there's so many more great uh, hockey players throughout the the decades of this great sport. Uh, Brett Hull and his dad Bobby Hull, another uh, legend of the sport. Uh, Bobby Orr, another legend of the sport. Was it Bobby? 
Bobby Hole. Was that his dad's name? Wow, I'm blanking. I'm blanking. I'm thinking Bobby Hole was his dad's name. I might be wrong on that, but I know Bobby Orr. <laughs> Don't give me too much grief for not knowing that. <laughs> another LaFontaine. Another Kevin Stevens. Craig Simpson. Uh, one of the Simpson family. Little known fact. There you go. I wonder if I get a, a first series set out of these. Might be pretty close. Uh, 12 cards a pack, 36 cards. Um, I mean, 36 packs in a box. I'm not sure if it, I think it's like 400 and something odd number of cards. So uh, I'm saying there's a chance. But at some point, I'd have to get a Yager to make that happen. Dale Andrichuk, I remember him back in the day. Good, good hockey player. Yari Curry, uh, one of those legends. Again, one of those Oilers guys. I mean, they, their team was just stacked in the mid-80s. Gretzky, Lemieux, Curry. Uh, gosh, who was that just a second ago? Uh, just, uh, just like the whole team was all-stars and future Hall of Famers. <laughs> Ron Hextall, another great player. Stevie Wonder, <laughs> Steve Eiserman, Zarly Zalapsky. I don't remember him. There you go. All right, nothing too much in that one. Let's see. We got about five packs left, six packs left, something like that. I tell you, this has been so much fun. Uh, taking my little time machine back in time to visit my youth. Open it up. Some old cards. Uh, so much fun. So much fun. Not only that, on opening night for hockey, the 2019-2020 season. This is fun. Bernie Nichols, he was a solid player. Dennis Savard. <clears throat> and another hologram. This one is so we can get a, the angle on it. Looks like another Iserman was someone sneaking up behind him again. So I'm pretty sure that's Iserman. <laughs> again, back in the day, I don't, I mean, I, I will say this. These do look better now uh, than they did back in the day. But it looks like, it really looks like there's Iserman and someone right behind him. Which is kind of weird for a hologram card. Uh, don't tell me I'm not going to get a Yager in this box. Unless Yager ended up being a high series card. But I thought he was a, a low series. Yeah. That hole again. Alexander McGilney again. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure that's a rookie there. Thought that was Neil Broughton. That's Aaron Broughton. Igor Larinov. And yes, hockey taught me a lot about pronunciation of uh, Russian names. <laughs> and just so you know, you can probably find boxes of these pretty cheap. Um, I believe mine here was, uh, I think... I believe it's like twenty dollars, which uh, is not too bad for the premier edition. So not bad. Joe Sackick, I believe uh, that might not be a rookie. I'm thinking that's his rookie card there. You know, I'm gonna pull it aside just in case. I'm not sure that he might have had a tops card uh, in the previous year. 
Another John Bice. One of those star rookies that I do not remember. Let's, let's pull all the packs out of here. I think it's... Ah, get out of there, fellas. All right. All right, four packs left. Four packs. Yeah, I've been talking about Yager the whole time. I'm going to end up finding out he was in the high series. But I thought he was in the low series. All right. Go. Another Messier. Let's go ahead and pull that Messier aside because it's Mark Messier. John Casey. Okay, I'm a big fan of the TV show Chuck. And one of the main characters played by Alan Baldwin. Alec. Not Alec Baldwin. Um, Daniel. Not Daniel Baldwin. Was it Daniel Baldwin? It was one of the Baldwin guys. I can't remember which one. But John Casey was his character name. Man, I had a great story and I totally butchered it. I'm sorry. Adam Graves. When I get done with this, I'm going to uh, go through them and see how close to a set I've gotten. I hope I've got a full set in here. There's that Gretzky Award card again. I'm going to say I probably did not get a set. Let's see, 343 is the highest number right there. 384 so it's probably going to be 400 cards in the set and the maximum number of cards is 480 so I'm going to guess that I do not get a complete set but that's okay sad part is I think you can go online and find a, a set for uh, of the low series for like 20 bucks 30 bucks at the at the most yeah <clears throat> which I, I i gotta be honest i've not looked that's just a guess because with these the best the, the biggest part of the fun is just opening up and going through them yeah star rookie of jason harder uh, herder i don't remember him either tim kerr All right, down to the last pack. I've got to go and look and see if Yager is in the high series or low series. I thought he was in the low series. He may have only been in the high series. Let me see something here. Where is that? Where is that card over here? No, he was in the low numbers. Okay. All right. Let's see. Last pack. Let's see. Langway, uh, Wendell, Alan May, and come on. Only a few left. I've seen these before, so I'm going to say I'm probably not going to get that card. Oh, no. Dan Quinn and Tom Barrasso to end it up. <clears throat> okay, this card here is number 351, and it has the top 10 draft picks from that year. And let's see, any of these I get. Owen Nolan, I did not. Peter Nedved, I did not. Uh, Keith Primu, uh, Mike Recchi, Yarmir Yager. Uh, Scott Sisson, S Scott Sissons. All right, there's a there was a football player back in the 
um, early 1990s that played for Georgia Tech. He was a kicker. His name was Scott Sisson. This, this gentleman's name is plural, Scott Sissons. Uh, Daryl Snyder, uh, Darian Hatcher, John Slaney, and Drake Barahowski. I don't think I got any of those. I don't think I got a single one of those 10 cards. I got the checklist card with uh, Lindros on it, which at the time, again, was a very valuable card. I said, who's that with the Nordics? Uh, Owen Nolan. Is that Nedved on there? Uh, uh, Peter Nedved right there. And let's see, who was that? Uh, Keith Primu. So all these guys had good careers, uh, a little better than Lindros, who, again, injury got him. But uh, that's all I got. That was 